Welcome back to FM Story. We started season eight in the last episode. We're obviously going for our seventh title in a row. And as far as the league campaign is concerned, we couldn't have got off to a better start. We won six from six. We've got a four point lead at the top of the table. We did have a disappointing game in the open game of the Champions League against Man City where we lost five nil at the Etihad, but we did rebound with a three nil victory against Barcelona at home. So hopefully we can continue on with this form. We don't play Benfica and Porto until December and January, so we need to take advantage of these league games, get ourselves a decent lead at the top of the table. We're already four points clear, and then uh, hopefully we've got enough of an advantage so that it doesn't matter really what happens in those games. But we're going for seven title in, the, in a row, and we want to get to the latter stage of the Champions League yet again. We've won it and got to the semi-finals in the last couple of years, so hopefully we can continue with that. Before we do get started, if you do enjoy the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. And without further ado, let's get going. Since the last episode, we've played a couple of games, one in the league and one in the Tacta Portugal. We won them both pretty comfortably. The league game was at home to Gil Vicente. We did make a few changes just to bring a couple of younger players in um, to rest some of the, the more senior players. So we brought in Al Asli at right back. Brought in Augusto Andre at left back, and we brought in Kisidou wide left. Uh, it did pay off because Kisidou scored a gorgeous volley um, after five minutes. Nianzu got two within the next ten minutes to, to put us three 0 up, and Ardagula picked up a goal before half time just to make it four 0 which enabled us to take off some of the more senior players and rest them for for some games we've got coming up. It was a pretty comfortable victory. They only had two shots on target, and made us seven wins out of seven as far as the league campaign is concerned. We then went away to Alank FC Villa Videnza in the Tac to Portugal and we played as much of a rotated team as we could. Um, we wanted to play a lot of the youngsters um, so the intention was going to be that uh, Nunes was going to play wide right and Cabrera was going to get was going to play in the number 10 role. They picked up injuries in training so we ended up playing with Coroas, Son and Tomas as the the sort of senior players, but other than that, it was a fairly rotated um, team. First half, we weren't great. We did take the lead through Thiago Thomas, and we did have a goal disallowed. Second half, we were much better. Um, Thiago Thomas scoring, Alazli scoring, one, and, and Alazli's goal came after we pushed him forward to play on that right wing after Paulo picked up a, a, a tight hamstring, um, and then Son scored a fourth in injury time just for the icing on the cake. Um, and that's us through to the next round of the cup. So going back to the Champions League now with the game against Man United, obviously that's a pretty strong Man United team that they've got. They've got Lafont who used to play for us in goal, um, Sesco up front who's caused all sorts of problems. Luckily for us, Bruno Fernandes is out injured. Um, but this is going to be a tough, tough test. We've gone back to what is our basically our has appeared to be our full strength team since we've got Pedri with Pedri in the 10. Kane's back, so he's going to play through the middle. Um, and hopefully we can get off to a good start at home like we did against Barcelona. All right, Santos nicks it back. Ardgula, Pedri. And just as the Champions League music stops, have we taken the lead or is it offside? Surely that's not offside. He didn't look offside. There we go. Gilmore pass, Santos nicks in and set in for it, plays it into Gula, who then just plays it between the fullback and the defender for Pedri running on, and he just dispatches it past Albon Lafont, and it's exactly what we wanted, a quick start at home. Kane was in an offside position, Pedri wasn't. Pedri's the one that runs onto it, dispatches it past the keeper. Right, Ardegula, Pedri. We get the ball in the box. Cut out. We've won the header at the back for Santos to Estevez. Blue water ball was cut out, but Estevez nicks it back. We've gone all the way back to the keeper. Nianzu, Asugo, White to Baldi. Goes past the full back. Pulls it back for Asugo. 2 0 up the nine minutes. This couldn't have started much better. 
a two goal played it to Valde who squares up the defender and just nicks it past him, gets behind beyond him, pulls it back for a two goal. Keeper got his hand to it but couldn't keep it out. Right, we've headed there pretty clear. Santos into Keane, Ardegula. We've got to the byline, back into Santos, Estevez, cross to the back post. The keepers misjudged the flight horrifically, and Baldis put us 3 0 up after 13 minutes. And this, this is outstanding stuff. Estevez, Pedri, Nianzu bringing it from striding forward. And in the end, it's forced to go all the way back to Musso. He spreads it away to Simovic in space. Simovic to Valdi looking for. Oh, they've cut that one out. At Rashford gives the ball away to Andrew picks it up. Estevez to Gula. Right, we're doing well keeping the ball. We just need to find that killer ball again. Keane, the Baldi, driving into the box, pulls it back to Asugo again. And that's 4 0. Asugo second. Both of them come from pullbacks from Alejandro Baldi. His pace on that left hand side has, has tortured the, the magnetic defence. Just can't get close to him. He pulls it back. And a go with his left foot this time, dispatches it past the keeper. All in all, that was an outstanding first half. Um, we blew, blown them away in that first 13 minutes with the three goals. Added a fourth just after the half hour. Really couldn't dream for a start like that. Right, we made one change at half time. We brought Thiago Thomas on for Harry Kane just because he's just coming back from injury. We don't need to risk him when we're 4 0 up. Right, we made a few more changes just to get some fresh legs on. Musso goes long. Asugo wide to Baldi. Gilmore makes a chance, but Baldi gets it back. And then they've doubled up on him in that corner. Sorensen bringing it clear for them. Andre gets there. Asugo to Baldi. Santos turns back to Nianzu. We're doing pretty well at keeping the ball when they put the pressure on. Al Asli, long ball looking for Arda. The defender cuts it out, but it Pops up for Thiago Thomas to direct it behind, beyond uh, Lafon, and that's us 5 0 up. Al Asli's looking for Arda, making the run in. Martinez try oh, the fullback tries to head it, and it just directs it away from Martinez into the path of Thiago Thomas. And there we go 5 0 victory. Really comfortable. They really didn't threaten at all. And we've just taken them apart. And from losing 5 0 on the opening day of the Champions League to away at Man City to have hammered Barcelona and Man United now in the home games, that puts us in a really good position with the games that we've got left to come in the Champions League. Um, so hopefully we can at least finish in that top eight to bypass the, the playoff round. We've made it to the end of November. We've got a Champions League game coming up against Sparta Prague. We have managed to maintain our good run of form since the Man United game. The first game after the Man United game was against Tondela, the second of our Allianz Cup group games. We knew a win would take us into the semi-finals. Um, pretty convincing performance. We didn't. We probably didn't take as many of the chances as we should have done. Um, we were one 0 up after half an hour through Artigula. They had a player sent off just after that for a wild lunge on Magaya, and then Harry Kane came off the bench to pick up a goal with ten minutes left, just to just to make the game secure. We then went away to Rio Ave, um, who have one of our players on loan in Vito Hurdy who played up front for them, and as you can see, pulled a goal back for them. Um, we got off to a great start. Pedri picked up two goals in the uh, in the first 11 minutes. And then we didn't do an awful lot after that until we had a few chances late on. Um, 
and Pedri had a goal disallowed in the injury time for that would have been his hat trick. But yeah, once we got two 0 up, we kind of took our foot off the gas a bit. Um, they got back into the game with a goal from Herdy, but didn't really threaten an awful lot more. And in the end, we ran out two on victors. We then went away to FC Twenty in the Champions League. Um, another quick start, goal after eight minutes from Dario Sugo, another assist for him from Alejandro Baldi. Um, they had a player sent off after half an hour. Not an awful lot else really happened until we took the lead just after the hour when Kissy, after Kissy would come off the bench. Um, he's been in some really, really good form um, since he's been involved in the first team. They pulled a goal back later on and put a bit more pressure on us towards the end as well, especially after Asugo got sent off for a stupid tackle, which means he's going to be suspended, obviously, for the next game against Sparta Prague. But in the end, we ran out 2-1 victors, um, which we deserved. Just we were under a lot of pressure towards the end of the game. We were then at home to AC Vizio in the league um, and got off to a great start. Santos curling a brilliant effort in after Kissidu had got away on the left and pulled the ball back to him on the edge of the area. Harry Kane then added two uh, in sort of five minutes. Asugo picked up another one. And then Harry Kane missed a penalty in injury time of the first half, which would have given him his hat-trick. He got his hat-trick pretty quickly after half-time. And then Santos got a second one late on after Pedri played him through. Um, really comfortable victory. 6-0 at home. They only had one shot on target. I mean, you can barely see them on the on the XG match story. Um, really comfortable victory and just maintaining that league form. The league form has been outstanding so far. And then in the most recent game, we were at home to Varzim in the Tax to Portugal. Um, we played what would be a second choice team from the start. chimiti has been complaining that he's not been played in the first team. It's hard to pick him ahead of Kane, Thomas, Coruas because of what they've done. Um, but he came into the team and scored two in the first 21 minutes. Um, they pulled a goal back just after the hour, and it looked a bit dodgy for a little while, but then Coppola picked up a, a goal late on just to secure the victory to see us through to the next round, where we've been drawn against Estrella Amadora. So as far as the league's concerned, we've played nine, won nine, and we're seven points clear of Porto, um, eight points clear of Vittori Gimaresh and Benfica, so we're in a really strong position here. Um, plus 32. Plus 32 goal difference, which is more than double what anyone else's is. Um, Musso's kept six clean sheets in nine games, so obviously we're, we're pretty solid at the back as well. Um, and we just need to keep this going. Um, next month is when we start hitting the Benfica and Porto games. We've got Benfica at the end of December and we've got Porto in the middle of January. Um, so the more we can take advantage of the games we've got before we play them, build that lead above them and then push on to, to secure a seventh title in a row. And as far as the, the Champions League is concerned, we're currently sat in eighth place with nine points from four games. We did have Man City, Barcelona and Man United in the first three games, we've still got Dortmund to come, which is a, a reasonably difficult game. But other than that, on paper, the games we've got left should be the easier games that we've got in the in the group stage. Um, so hopefully we can push on and maintain that position in the top eight to get the, the bye past the playoff round. This is the team we've gone for, into the game against Sparta Pra with. Um, with the two goal being suspended, we've moved Dragon Simovic into that defensive midfield role. We've pushed Balde back to left back and we brought Kissy doing to start because when he's played, he's played really well. Um, and it's a reward for, for his form so far. Otherwise, it's what would be our first choice team. All right, Arda with three kick to the back post and Rewalt has seemingly given away no. How, there's not a chance that can be offside. Why are we even checking that? I'd love to know who they were actually checking for, because we're not even going to see the, re the replay with the line, so why would you even bother debating that with Val? Right, they've 
got they, they had got away from our press now they've backed themselves into it right down the right hand side Valde blocks the cross Simovic into Pedri White to Arda but it's headed here as far as Estevez right we've off a bit of ping pong there. Simovic looking for Kissy Do into the box. What a finish! And that is why we've rewarded him with a place in the starting lineup. He's been outstanding when he's come in. It's his, that's his third goal, but he's got a number of assists as well. Just turns the defender and then just fires it past the keeper and gave him no chance. Can we just? Put this game beyond doubt before half time. We can take some players off. Arda back to Santos. Kissy do again. Kane's flicked it in. Now, that one I would have said there was a chance of being offside, but obviously not. And that's 3 0. And I think we're at the point where we'll be able to take some of the, the more experienced players off at half time just to rest them for the big games we've got coming up in the next month. And they've gone along with the goal kick. Ruolt wins the header. We've given it away. They threw on goal. Oh, that's a really soft goal to concede. No one went with the runner. And the keeper basically just stood there and let him go. Hmm. Well, that was a pretty outstanding first half until that goal in injury time um we've taken our chances and then we've just got sloppy and let them back into the game i assume we've one change at half time we've moved adagula into the number 10 role we've taken off edry and brought nunez in on the right hand side just to give him a bit of experience in the champions league and we've nearly completely let them back into the game luckily at that time the header was straight at me so Ruwalt brings it forward into nunez Looks for Kissy Do, but ends up giving it away. Simovic, Santos looking for Nunes into the box. What a finish. And I'd say so myself, a bit of an inspired substitution. Right, Simovic split it into Santos. He lifts it over centre half. Nunes makes the run past the full back and then just fires in first time on the volley. Right, Nianzu coming forward, Estevez, Vasquez, Fernandez into Kissidou, but the defender's beaten him to it. Santos this time to Kissidou, who nicks it back off the defender. Santos on the edge of the box. Oh, he's hit the bar. There we go. In the end, comfortable 4 1 win despite conceding that goal in injury time of the first half. So let them back into it. Nunes picks up a goal straight after half time and it, it puts in a really good position. But Kissy D was outstanding again. Um, and really, he's making the decision about Son at the end of the season. Son's not even the backup now for that left hand, that left wing, so he's probably going to be le probably going to leave when his contract's up. But all we need to do is just keep this form rolling on. And that's the end of another episode, another really good episode. We're in really good form. We've made it through to the semi-final of the Allianz Cup. We've made it through to the fifth round of the attack to Portugal. We're currently sat third in the Champions League league phase with four wins from five, which considering we lost the opening game 5-0 to Man City is a bit of a, a bit of an improvement. And we're currently sat top of the, the league, nine games, nine wins, seven points clear of Porto, we're eight points clear of Benfica. In the next episodes, when the, the big games are going to start in the league, we've got a game at the end of December against Benfica. We've got a game in the middle of January against Porto. We should have another Allianz Cup semi-final to come as well. So join us next time to see if we can keep this form rolling on through all of those games. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you then.